Hi, this is Maggie from Magnificent Tarot. I am back with another You versus Them series for the sign of Pisces. Hey, Pisces. And basically, it's a three card spread. The first card represents you, Pisces. The second card represents your partner. And the third card represents the relationship and the potential for the relationship. Okay. Keep in mind that the energies are interchangeable. I may say this is how your partner or love interest feels, but it may be how you feel. Okay, so take what resonates. And also, this is a general reading. It may not apply to you. Okay, these are going to be really short, quick readings. I'm going to lay out three cards and then I'm going to clarify as I go here. started Pisces your partner or love interest oh this is just trying to fly out page of swords oh queen of swords okay what's going on here who's getting cut out Pisces your partner in the relationship and where the relationship is headed Pisces your partner in the relationship and where the relationship is headed all right Pisces, it looks like you feel like your partner has options or you're not focusing on an offer that's being presented to you by your partner. Your partner feels like they don't want to put any more effort in this or they're being very defensive. Um, somebody in the relationship feels like somebody, the other person's tied to somebody else. Somebody is thinking about letting go of the relationship or basically letting go of the past here because this here, Pisces, it looks like you are focusing on whatever happened in the past between you and this person. And you were ignoring their offer or you were contemplating their offer. Okay. Um, but it looks like you want to let go of whatever it was in the past. Or this is talking about indecision. Maybe you're being indecisive still. You maybe don't know what to do. Um, your partner is trying to offer you something here. We have the world. Um, there's some type of ending of a cycle. Maybe there's an ending of disputes between you two. Um... I mean, this is a very positive card, so this could be the, the relationship. Um, you guys want to move this relationship in a positive direction, but then you have the Queen of Pentacles here. You're not you're not sure about this. You have some uh, a lack of faith in this union. Um, your partner is isolating themselves at this point, or they're feeling some type of sadness. Um, because you're not accepting their offer. Because here you're looking at their offer here with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You're looking at it, but I don't know if you want it. Maybe you don't feel, feel like this offer is enough. Um, you feel like this person is not offering you enough here. And now your partner is isolating themselves or trying to heal. Just as uh, someone feels like someone's being unfair. There's some unfairness in the relationship. Um... Either you feel like your partner's not being fair or your partner feels like you're not being fair in the relationship here. I feel like you have a lot of suspicions too of what your partner is doing. You're suspicious. You don't feel like your partner is being completely honest. You feel like there's some deceits. Yeah. But the sun's here under you and the six of cups I mean, your partner makes you happy. Like, you you love them. You really have some strong emotions for them. You feel a very deep connection to your partner, possibly uh, past life. And this is indicating some type of twin flame, but I don't see the other twin flame cards yet. But I do see the devil. So this is talking about some, uh, 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 like, a soul tie or, like, some type of soul connection, some deep connection, a deep bond, a tight bond. Um, Page of Cups, your partner... Um, they have been dishonest or they feel like you're being dishonest here. Um, your partner could be drinking too. Um, the emperor in reverse. So yeah, there's a lack of confidence in this union. Um, 
or they just feel like someone's being manipulated, manipulative or controlling. But I, I look at it as the emperor is a very confident person, but the emperor could be stubborn as well. So maybe someone's decided not to be as stubborn here. Your partner feels like you have choices or your partner's really confused about what's going on. They feel like you don't know what you want. Um, yeah, and they feel like they, they're tired of putting all the work and they're tired of trying so hard to give you this offer. They're trying to show you that they're trying to change. Um, King of Wands. Somebody is really just being either being impatient or impulsive about something or they're unsure they don't want to make a hasty decision and this is causing the other partner to feel um, maybe unsure about which direction they want to take see you're probably you're you may be afraid to take a leap of faith or this is you wanting to take a leap of faith on this union but maybe you just don't know you don't want to feel like a fool I feel like someone being selfish also the king of wands the hierophant your partner wants a commitment <laughs> they want a commitment Queen of Cups, but somebody is stuck in their feelings. Someone's stuck in negative emotions. They're letting their emotions get the best of them. Let's see who. Yeah, that's you, Pisces. You're letting your emotions get the best of you. Your partner feels like you have secrets, or your partner feels like um, you, your partner's depressed. Page of Wands. They want to communicate this message to you. They want to, um, they want to give you a message, or they want to communicate some type of truth. Let me see. Yeah, but see, they they feel like you're juggling, or maybe they're juggling whether they should continue to try to offer you something here. See, Ace of Cups. Somebody's crying, and somebody doesn't feel like they feel like something is hindering this 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 new beginning. Ace of Cups is in reverse. This talks about sadness too. I look at this as someone crying with all these little tears on this card. Um, you're contemplating, but see with the Two of Wands, I kind of feel like you have the world in your hand. I feel like you want to move forward. You want to move forward with this union here. Your partner feels like there's some type of um, sneaky behavior on your part and they feel like they want the truth they want to know what it what you want to do because they want a commitment or this could be them not um being stuck in their ways your partner trying like i said there is a, a sense of someone trying to control the situation but i kind of feel like they want a commitment and they want some type of truth here three of wands type of lack of um this talks about delays i feel like you're still just contemplating trying to take your time focusing on other things maybe you want to focus on building your money before you can offer a, a solid com uh, commitment to this partner but i don't know let's see Ooh, okay yeah your partner doesn't want to put any more work they feel like they want this commitment. They've been trying to give you this offer. But it's like you are you don't know what you want. They feel like you don't know what you want. Here, they feel like there's a lack of cooperation. Now, they're, they're feeling like maybe you're juggling somebody else. They feel like maybe the reason why you don't want to take their offer is because you have somebody else is what they're feeling like. It looks like you want to move forward towards your partner. Your partner, you know... They're starting to let go of the negative emotions or will. Or this is them still feeling some type of negative effects because it's the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Um, but it could be them healing um, here. And this is talking about uh, in, the, in, the, in the reverse, talking about stagnation.
I feel like with the Six of Wands, this could just be um, I mean, it's success. Someone wants success in this union. But at the same time, I kind of feel like, based on the other cards around it, Success. You want this union to work out. But then I have the Queen of Swords. Okay, so you want you want to move towards your partner, but you feel like you want them to cut out um, the negative behaviors or the behaviors. Um, they drink. You want them to cut out the drinking. Um, you also feel like your partner, like you, it's something in the past that you're you're not letting go of, and you wanna you want them to cut that out here because your partner has death. So they do want to change. They do want to do some type of transformation because someone here feels like someone's a lie. And I believe that's you, Pisces. I feel like you're not, you don't trust your partner. You feel like they're lying. Because this four, this four of swords talks about remorse too. I'm sorry, not remorse. But the four of swords talks about contemplating or, or, it talks about um, isolation. I feel like, and then here we have the Seven of Cups. So I feel like maybe in the past, because your partner's confused, maybe in the past your partner um, basically they want a commitment and they were basically, they had options. And I feel like here, now you're, you, if you move forward, you're like, if you move forward towards them, they need to cut out all that other behavior, that other stuff they were doing. Your partner has a death card. They want you to let go of the past. They want you to let go of the past. They want you to let go of the fact that you think they're cheating. And then we have the um, the Queen of Pent um, the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Temperance card. So this is karma. There's going to be a balancing of the karma. So with the nine, that's a completion. Um, with the nine of pentacles, somebody is, yeah, somebody's going to go ahead and stop focusing on themselves and stop being selfish. And they're going to move towards, you're, you're going to come towards your partner here. This is someone, you know, really ready to take a chance here. And there's going to be some type of balancing here. And then we have, because I was holding the deck upside down and I have judgment. And I have the Ace of Wands here. And I'm going to end there. So there will be some type of balancing. There will be, uh, you guys are going to reach a conclusion um, here. Some type of balance, balance decision, a balanced judgment. And you guys are going to go ahead and make an attempt here at a new beginning. All right, Pisces, that's your reading.